Uh, welcome our video friends. This is January the 2nd <clears throat> and it's uh, the year 2022. Can you imagine that? That we have lived and have seen this year come to pass. The good year of 2022. The good year of our Lord 2022. And I like the way that we do our calendar uh, Anno Domini, year of our Lord. And I'm so thankful for that. And uh, if you never think about that, you ought to think about that. How that in time past, Christ had made such an impression upon this world that men dated their calendars according to his birth. And uh, in B.C., before Christ, I'm still glad that we used that. I know there's a movement among some groups of people trying to get us away from that. But uh, I still like the uh, B.C., before Christ, when we're thinking about time before Christ, and Anno Domini, the year of our Lord, when we speak about years after the birth and coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, no doubt, it's going to be very hard for man to put that away because Christ has made such a great impression upon this world over 2,000 years ago. That's, uh, that's something else to think about. But anyhow, we welcome you back to our videos this year. This is the first one of this year. And I certainly pray for the subscribers. The Lord has gave us two new subscribers in the past uh, month, and I'm so thankful for those two. And, uh, and the viewers, I can't really keep up with how many viewers we have all together, because uh, some of them go back into the earlier uh, ones and don't stay current, so uh, and, uh, a little hard for me to keep up with that. But at a glance, I can tell how many subscribers we have. But anyhow, we do appreciate you. I want you to know that I do pray for you guys and uh and care for you and uh that the lord will bless you and help you during the coming new year let me say as well if you have a prior request you'd like to make known that uh, you can send it via the comment box on youtube channel or you can send that uh, to d parker 4825 at yahoo.com and i promise to pray for you and your request and if it's more personal you might want to send that to my personal email address and I'm not afraid to give it out I don't know what in the world some people are so scared of but uh, uh, you'd be welcome to send me your prayer request I would promise to pray for you well my friends uh, I got some thoughts this morning um, and uh, about the new year and the coming new year and the anticipations thereof and I'm not one to anticipate much but let me say this as a Christian we look in our new year unto the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what we look into the new year about. Uh, we know that this old world is not going to bring us too much happiness. We know that this world can't bring too much peace. We know that sometimes this world cannot bring a whole lot of prosperity. Matter of fact, this old world can take it all away. But as we live life, we who know the Lord, we live looking into the new year as unto what the Lord is doing in our lives, what He is doing in our midst, what He is doing in our country, what He is doing in His churches. That's the way that we look into the new year with anticipation of the Lord doing a work in our hearts, in our lives, in our family members, in our neighbors, our friends. We look into the Lord about our prayer request that we pray sometimes many, many years we pray about things. And so that is the way that we approach the new year, looking unto our Lord and Master, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I know that uh, I have business plans. Me and my wife have business that we attend to. And certainly we, we hope uh, and look into that, that the Lord will guide, that He will bless, that He will supply, and that He will allow that which we are trying to do to prosper. And I think that all good people have those thoughts and intents, but uh, we, we do hope that those plans will come to pass. But on a greater scale, we look into the Lord's work and see what all He is doing and what all He is bringing to pass. Uh, sometimes a new child is born. Uh, one of my daughters is expecting another new grandchild at uh, the end of this month. And so we definitely anticipate and wait the birth of Amelia. And, uh, and but also, uh, I also anticipate perhaps the 
rebirth of some of my grandchildren. All of my children make profession that they know Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. All of my grandchildren, some of them have, but most of them are young and have not yet done so. But I anticipate the day when they will make a profession of faith in Jesus Christ and make it to be known publicly. And accept Him as the Lord and their Savior. And so who knows? Uh, the Lord's work may touch my family and my children's hearts and lives this year. And uh, who knows? He may touch mine or my wife's heart in a very definite way, doing very definite things in our lives. So we look into the Lord and to see His work done and anticipate that. And uh, we remember, my friends, that we're the work of His hands. We're the sheep of His pasture. Remember, He's the potter and we're the clay. We need to always do well to remember that. And uh, we should remember that He is the vine. We are the branches. We should remember He is the Father. We are the children. We should remember He is God Almighty. And we are creatures He has made and set upon this earth. So we have much to remember and to keep it in the right perspective. Certainly, we all wish to do all that we can in the Lord's work, in our own work, and in our own hearts to make a better man and a better person of ourselves. And I believe that every man should strive to do that, to do all those things. Uh, but my friends, the greatest work that's done is done by the Lord. And none of it is done aright until for sure the Lord has done it. And, uh, and so we shall look to the Lord going into this new year. And uh, I don't go looking too much help from the government this year. Looks like we've got a lot of problems with our government and their ideals. And, uh, and I feel that most of that's going to take us backward instead of forward. I think that most of that's going to hurt our country versus advance our country. But be what it may, I voted and I prayed, so I have to leave it there, I guess. But uh, our Lord, now He's got work to be done too in this country. And we long to see what He's doing in America this coming year. And His church will grow. Uh, the devil can't stop it. He cannot stop it. And we trust that the Lord will build His church. As Jesus said, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And the year 2022, you're going to see the Lord building His church. And the devil fighting it. Oh yes, he'll fight it. But he will not prevail. He will not be able to stop the church from growing. He will not be able to stop the church from doing all that God has purposed that the church do and bring forth. He is the Lord who can fight against him. And then let me say something else. Uh, you know, 2022 might be the year, and it will be the year that a lot of people will die. Uh, there will be a lot of people to die this year, 2022 as they die in every year. Yes, I know that. But uh, this year, who knows? It might be the year that I die. It might be the year that you die. It might be the year that you'll visit the graveyard of a dear loved one or a family member who only the Lord knoweth. Only the Lord knoweth these things. Uh, it's appointed to man once to die. And after this, the judgment we are told. But perhaps, Think about it with me for a minute. If this is the year that you're going to die, don't get the idea you can turn over a New Year's resolution and do good enough to get into God's heaven. That's not how we get into God's heaven. Don't get the idea that I'll change my old wicked ways this year and I'll lay the past behind. The only way that you'll do that is to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and to call upon Him to save your soul, to change your heart, to change your life. And you'll find that He'll do that very thing. But my friends, why delay the matter? You don't know for sure that you'll die. I don't know for sure that I will. Nor do we know for sure that we will not die. And uh, who knows just when death will knock on our door and say, All right, it is now time to come. My dear friends, why not make 2022 today the day that you would accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and to know Him, whom to know aright is eternal life. Uh, perhaps this would be the day to call upon Him. Now my friends, sooner or later death will come to you. It will come to me. Sooner or later we shall all go by the death 
by the way of death or by the way of the rapture. And uh, you need to be ready for either one should it occur. My friends, if death comes, trust in Jesus today and be ready for it. Don't delay. And then, my friends, uh, we also think about the rapture of the church. I know the word rapture is not found in the Bible. Uh, certainly it's not. But also, the, the fact is uh, that we shall be called up together in the clouds to meet the Lord. And so shall we ever be with the Lord in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Who knows? Perhaps this year the Lord will come and the dead which had trusted Him shall rise first in the first resurrection. And then we which are alive and remain behind shall be called up together to meet the Lord. What a wonderful promise we have uh, in the Bible. What a wonderful scripture that is. I've heard it read at funerals and preached on in churches. And uh, what, a, what an event that that's going to be, the rapture of the church. And uh, who knows, this might be the year that it come, the Lord comes and that takes place in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye. Well, my friends, we who are Christians will be, if we're alive and here on the earth, we'll be called up to meet Him when that happens. But one thing for sure, our life and our opportunities down here will then be gone. Uh, may the Lord help us this year to be busy serving Him, living for Him, walking in His ways, uh, and living as though we really expected Him to come any day, any moment, and to be ready to meet Him, and to hopefully hear Him say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant, into the joy of the Lord. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I hope that when the Lord comes, um, my Bible reading is called up. I hope that when He comes, my praying is called up. I hope that when He comes, my giving is called up. And so, uh, and so I, I, I hope that my attitude, my heart, will be He'll find me right when He comes. Not with a bad attitude, not with the wrong attitude. I hope He'll find me in the Spirit when He comes. The Bible said about John, he was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Well, uh, I'd love to be in the Spirit when the Lord calls us to come home. And that would be a wonderful way to meet the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we as Christians, uh, we don't want to be found when the Lord comes with hatred in our heart towards somebody. I've seen people die like that, and I bet you have too. I, I guarantee you've seen people die who had obviously hatred in their heart and never forgiven uh, some matters upon this earth. Well, that's not the way we want to go out to meet the Lord, is it? No, it's not. And so uh, if somebody's trespassed against us, may the Lord help us to be forgiven Christians and to forgive them of those matters. I say, well, they ain't asked for it. Forgive them anyhow. And uh, don't, uh, don't require that. And uh, let them... Let, and let that, whatever it is, be committed unto the Lord and to His keeping. And let the Lord look thereupon, and let Him judge thus. The Bible has a lot to say about forgiving, and so we ought to be forgiving people. And we should remember that we should forgive, and forget, and to pass on, committed unto the Lord, and look to the Lord, and uh, quit harboring those things where somebody has done us wrong. Well, my friends, that's a big challenge for the new year, isn't it? It is, to be ready to die, to be ready to meet the Lord, to have a clean spirit and a clean attitude when the Lord comes. That is a, a great challenge for us already uh, this morning as we think about these things uh, on, the, on the first Sunday of the new year. And we're here, we're there, the first Sunday. And so, uh, my friends, we appreciate you listening in. May God bless you and help you today.